In this video, we're going to have a look at the third principle of readable documents, which is text guides. And why should you add additional guides to your text? Well, they improve comprehension, which is really important, and also the clarity of the document. And of course, as always, they make it easier to skim and scan. And there are a few things you can do uh, to add additional guidance to the document. So the first thing you can do is, is make sure that you left align your documents. You can then highlight key passages, add icons to sections, use flowcharts and mind maps, and use images for illustration. So the first thing, uh, the easiest thing, is to don't, not justify or center paragraphs. And the reason you want to have a left align paragraph is because then the, uh, then the right hand side of the paragraph is not even. And it makes, it makes it easier for people to navigate, not to get lost as they go through the paragraph, which is particularly appreciated by many um, dyslexic readers. And also, it will keep the, the, the spaces in between uh, characters much more consistent. And uh, whereas you can see with the justified paragraphs, they're often um, more d difficult to keep the same. But uh, the worst thing you can do is center an entire paragraph, because as you can see, it's much more difficult to, to just be guided through the text as you, as you go along. So, so that is, it is a very simple thing that you can do and uh, without too much effort and, and make your documents easier to read. But uh, you can go even one step further, and that is adding s guidance as to which bits of the document are more important. And that's uh, done through a very simple expedient by simply bolding keywords. You don't want to bold too many things, just maybe two or three or four words together. But you can, if, as you compare these two paragraphs, you can quickly scan through this one or skim this one and get a sense of all the important things. Because uh, so much in language that we put, uh, that we have to write, is just to connect things together. But actually, sometimes just the keywords are the, the important things that we need to read. So here you're also you're telling your readers what you want them to know, but also letting them at a glance see if they perhaps need to zoom in and get more information. Now, the next uh, area for providing some guidance is to add, add some graphics into your text. And graphics are uh, more inviting. They, they provide a visual division of the text, so it's, again, easier to navigate, easier to get around. And also, they improve recall because people have more things to hang their memories on. And you can do uh, something very simple, such as using, using flowcharts to summarize the content. So here's, again, that same history page. And, but if you add uh, a nice little flowchart to it, well, maybe lots of the readers will not actually have to read uh, uh, that page anymore because they just get the key information from it. Or when they're reading it, they can always quickly refer back to it and summarize that key information and recall that later. But, now, there are other things you can do. For example, you can illustrate uh, some keywords from your document with images. So, for example, here's a document that contains the word spires in it. And many non native speakers do not know what spires mean. So, they don't, instead of for them to have to look it up in a dictionary, maybe you can put a picture of some spires with a label underneath it. Another thing you can do with pictures is to create like a brief table of contents that, or uh, give people a sense of what's coming up in the document. So, th so, this is what I use in my guide to Rapid MOOC simply added some icons with little labels that just give you a structure, give you a sense of what's, uh, what's in the document without taking up too much vertical space with, just, with a proper table of contents. And uh, here, when you have a list of things to bring, again, it's much easier for people to navigate visually, but also to remember when you actually uh, add icons to each section. So that's, that's a very useful thing to do. And luckily now, uh, Microsoft um, X, uh, documents uh, uh, in Word and in PowerPoint can very easily uh, do that by using the smart art feature. And it even has, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint even has this great new feature called design ideas. And if you start with these, with three words or a number of words and click on design ideas, you're going to get some suggestions uh, and some of them will include graphics. So if you want to get a list with graphics, it's very easy to do. And uh, you can make it something like this. Now, you can also just simply add icons anywhere in the text, and they simply go to insert in your uh, Microsoft Word or Microsoft, Microsoft PowerPoint, and you choose icons, um, and uh, they're constantly adding new ones, and now there's a really good selection, so, so you, will have, you have plenty to choose from. Um, this is how I actually created one of the earlier slides you saw, you saw earlier. I simply made a list, then I clicked on Design Ideas, and I got a suggestion of icons and what I then did, I just modified the icons to, to, fit my, uh, to fit my needs. There are other ways in which you can add icons even to documents that are not in Word, like uh, this is from a, a plain canvas page, and you can use 
you, you, uh, you, you, you can use emojis for that because emojis are actually just font and they work everywhere. They, they're not exactly the same on every platform, but they will have the same idea everywhere. And so so you, can, you can, as you can see, I can visually divide the page like this. And you can type emojis on, on Windows simply by holding on the window key and then typing semicolon or, or the full stop. Uh, there's also other ways to do it on a Mac. Uh, or definitely on your phone, and then you can insert those emojis. You, you get a pop-up, and you just type in the word that you think uh, the emoji uh, would be described by, and then you, you insert that in. And there are many that would actually be quite useful and sort of universal uh, guides uh, for that can be used in text. So, so definitely there are a lot of options, and as you can see, uh, you can def easily change their color and the size and, and so on. So these are the, some ways of providing additional guidance for your documents. In the next video, we're going to have a look at the information structure of your text.